Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? This is Mansoor Ahmad with World Chemistry. I hope that all are going well. Today we will discuss another topic related to electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of benzene. So basically we will discuss today about the product craft acylation. If I just uh, summarize the previous lectures, what we did in the previous lectures, we uh, study about the Friedel Craft reactions. What is Friedel Craft reaction? It is very simple. The replacement of the hydrogen atom by an alkyl group or acyl group in the presence of Lewis acid using as a catalyst is known as Friedel Craft reaction. We divided the uh, uh, Friedel Craft reaction into two types. One was Friedel Craft alkylation in which we use uh, the alkyl group for the replacement of the hydrogen atom of the benzene. And today we will uh, replace this hydrogen atom of the benzene by the help of acyl group. So we basically add the acyl group into benzene molecule. That's why the process is known as Friedel Craft acylation. So what does it mean by the uh, FC acylation? Acylation means addition of acyl group addition of acyl group today our uh, electrophile in Friedel Craft acylation is acylium ion which we will discuss so what is Friedel Craft acylation it is very easy suppose this is a benzene molecule this is one of the hydrogen atom of the benzene molecule here we will uh, react acylating agent the acylating agent means the compound which provides us acyl group. Suppose this is acyl group. Since here comes a positive charge in the generation of electrophile step, that's why it is non, uh, now known as acylium ion. So this hydrogen atom of the benzene is replaced by the help of this part of acylating agent. So this is the process of uh, Predel Craft acylation. So the definition of Predel Craft acylation is very easy. What is the definition? The replacement, the replacement of hydrogen atom, the replacement of hydrogen atom of benzene ring. By the help of by the help of acyl group. What is acyl group? R C double bond O. This is acyl group. In the presence of again we will use a uh, Lewis acid as a catalyst in the presence of Lewis acid. Lewis acid using as a catalyst using as a catalyst is known as Predel Craft acylation. Shortcut FC acylation. Different this is the basic basic definition of Predel Craft acylation. What is the basic definition? The replacement of the hydrogen atom of the benzene ring by the help of a acyl group. This group will basically substitute this hydrogen atom of the benzene ring. We will use a catalyst that is Lewis acid. Uh, in the presence of Lewis acid using as a catalyst is known as Predel Craft acylation. So write uh, down its uh, definition. This is the general definition. Now I will uh, ex uh, explain its uh, two examples in which I will uh, use a separate, separate acylating agent. Understand? So uh, I will erase it. By the help of a general example, uh, we will be able to understand every point related to Predel Craft acylation. Suppose, as I told, we use acylating agent in Predel Craft acylation. Acylating agent means the compound which provides acyl group. So basically, we use here uh, two uh, types of acylating agent. The one is acid halide. Acid halide. The general definition of acid halide is RC double bond. X 
this is the general representation of acid halide and the second one is acid anhydride this is also our acylating agent used in fc acylation what is the general representation or c or c double bond o carbon o again carbon double bond o r this is the general representation of acid halides both the acid halide and acid anhydrides are the derivative of carboxylic acid how suppose this is we know c double bond oh this is a carboxylic acid if simply we replace the oh part of carboxylic acid by the help of halogen atom suppose like this so it is it forms acid halide acid halide is the derivative of the carboxylic acid in which the oh part is replaced by the help of x atom acid anhydride is also the derivative of carboxylic acid how it is formed it is very simple suppose this is a carboxylic acid to this carboxylic acid i am reacting one more carboxylic acid this is also a carboxylic acid what happened just remove water molecule from these two it forms acid and hydrides suppose this is the resulting compound formed by this understand the same from the, the removal of h2o between are from two carboxylic acid basically gives acid and hydrides understand these two uh, compounds basically acid halides and acid and hydrides these two uh, functional groups are used for the uh, uh, as a reactant in case of the brittle craft isolation so uh, in one example i will um, take acid and uh, halide as a reactant understand in second example i will uh, take acid and hydride as a reactant so let's uh, we will uh, start suppose if i write uh, the general reactions first i will write its general reactions suppose again this is a benzene molecule with this molecule uh, benzene molecule i am first i am uh, trying to react acid and halide suppose this is what this is acid and uh, this is so a uh, simple acid halide again we use lewis acid that should be hen hydrous i will uh, tell the reason that why we will use an hydrous lewis acid understand is not what will happen simply this hydrogen atom will react with this x atom of the acid halide one thing here formed will be hx that is halogen acid plus now this which is uh, this is a acyl group which is our electrophile will add uh, or will attach on the benzene ring this will be the final product c double bond o r this is what this is a symbol the a general representation or general equation uh, of brittle craft acylation now i will uh, take an uh, specific example understand here in case of acid halide this x atom this this basically uh, shows the halogen family in which we uh, can take fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so x basically represent the halogen uh, halogen family so now i will take a special uh, special example suppose this is a special example this is again benzene and this is one hydrogen atom of the benzene now this time uh, instead of r i am taking ch3 because this is a special example understand now what becomes look at this what will happen this is a benzene molecule with this benzene molecule i am reacting now this time acetyl chloride 
This is what? This is acetyl chloride. Again, we are using Lewis acid, anhydrous Lewis acid. Suppose that it is AlCl3 aluminum trichloride. I told that which kind of the acids are used in uh, substitution reaction of the benzene. That was uh, peric halide and aluminum halide in most of the cases. What was, uh, what we can use? Peric halide. General representation of peric halide is FeX3. This may be peric chloride if X atom is chlorine. If X atom is bromine, then it may be peric bromide. Similarly, we can also use aluminum halide. Understand, again, X atom may be chlorine. If X atom is chlorine, then it is known as aluminum trichloride. If X atom is bromine, then it is known as aluminum tribromide. It depends upon the reactant you are taking here. Understand? Now, as I am taking acetyl chloride, in which chlorine atom is present, so I have to use an Lewis, a Lewis acid in which chlorine atom is present. So what will happen? Nothing just like the general reactions. This hydrogen atom will uh, react with this chlorine atom. It will, uh, will form HCl, which is hydrochloric acid. And now this uh, part, which is our electropile, will attach on this benzene ring. So it will form a compound, basically, that is C double bond OCH3. Now this is known as methyl phenyl ketone. This is the name of this conduit compound. The more common name of this compound is acetapinone. Acetapinone. So this is the a product which is formed when I use acid allied as a reactant. Understand? Now I will write the second example in which I will uh, use acid and hydride as a reactant. So what will be the reaction? Very easy. Just like this. Suppose this is, again, I will write its general, this is the hydrogen atom. Again, I will write general uh, reaction first. Suppose I am reacting acid and hydride. This is what? This is acid and hydride. Again, we will use anhydrous Lewis acid. Why we use anhydrous? I will explain the reason in mechanism. Lewis acid. Understand? What will happen? Very simple. This hydrogen atom again will par, uh, uh, make a bond with this. Now this uh, time what will form? Our one product will be R. Understand? C double bond O O H. Now this will form. This is what? This is simple carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Now, I hope that you are feeling the difference between uh, these two. When I use acid halide as a reactant, then here was forming hydrogen acid. Understand that is HCl in special case. When I use acid anhydride as a reactant, then instead of HX, basically carboxylic acid is forming. Understand? What will be other product? Now, again, this is what? This is our electropile, which is a acyl group, will attach with this benzene ring. Again, it will form the same product as it was formed in the first reaction. This will form. This is what? This is general reaction. If I take specific example, what will happen? Nothing the same example. Benzene, I am reacting with this benzene, CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O, CH3. Understand? Again, I am using Lewis acid. Suppose Al, Cl3. Now what will happen? It is very simple. This is what? This is acetic anhydrides. 
the name of this compound is acetic acetic anhydride understand yes one this is what this is acetic anhydride it is very simple again this hydrogen atom will form a bond with this part of the acid acid anhydride this hydrogen can also form with this bond with this part if it forms a bond with this part the same product will be formed there is no difference understand because the molecule is symmetrical if the molecule that is acetic and hydride is unsymmetrical then you have to uh, remember in your mind then which part will uh, substitute this hydrogen atom that part of acetic and hydride will substitute the hydrogen atom which is less sterically endured you have to remember this point understand so now this is uh, a symmetrical molecule now it doesn't matter if you uh, remove this part or uh, remove this part it doesn't affect this one understand so what will form our one product will be ch3 c double bond oh this is what this is simple carboxylic acid which is acetic acid this is what acetic acid will form plus again the same product will be formed this will be our electrophile which will which will attach with this benzene ring so it forms again methyl phenyl ketone which is also known as acetaphenone so this is what this is simple acetaphenone understand yes right these are the examples of riddle craft acylation which is very really simple so now uh, we will try to write the mechanism of this reaction especially of this one i will try the mechanism of this reaction the mechanism of these reactions are uh, very simple again i am telling the mechanism will complete in three step now we will discuss so take the screenshot of this one we will continue our topic now we will write the mechanism of this reaction mechanism is uh, the mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions are almost highly easy there is a uh, no confusion these are very interesting uh, topics of chemistry now i will write the mechanism what would be the mechanism step number 1 what was we called step number 1 in my previous lecture it was named as generation of electrophile there's one remember in uh, every reaction of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction we always generate an electrophile why we always uh, generate an electrophile in first step because these are electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of the benzene since uh, electrophile attacks uh, i mean uh, the initial attack is done by an electrophile therefore it is uh, very important to form the electrophile in first step of the benzene and what help us in the formation of electrophile basically lewis acid which we used in this type of the reaction help us in the generation of electrophile why we used uh, lewis acid in such type of the reaction because uh, benzene is highly stable molecule to attack on the benzene molecule generally we ne uh, need a strong electrophiles to generate again a strong electrophile we use lewis acid now what is the job of lewis acid and what is the main function of lewis acid in such type of the reaction we will explain it in mechanism so suppose as uh, i am attacking this molecule ch3c double bond o this is acetyl chloride suppose i am taking this one that is acylating agent since we know that there are three lone pairs of electrons with the chlorine atom with this i am uh, using aluminum trichloride which is lewis acid why we use lewis acid in this reaction i am telling the reason you know we know that there is a weakened orbital there is always a weakened orbital with the lewis acid the definition of lewis acid is very simple is uh, simple 
the uh, the, uh, the uh, those species which accept the lone pair of electrons are known as Lewis acid. Why they accept the lone pair of electrons? Because they have weakened orbitals. Now I will uh, prove the uh, reason that why uh, they have the weakened orbital, how they have and how they uh, accommodate the lone pair of electrons. Suppose if I write the atomic number of aluminum, that is 13. What is the electronic communication? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p1. This is what? This is the electronic communication of aluminum. Now if I write in uh, block, suppose this is 1s which contains two electrons. This is 2s, again contains two electrons. And p, we know that p ha uh, has a three more subatomic orbital. That is 3px, 3py, 3pz. Since a 2p has a six electrons, therefore, they are completely filled. Now, 3s2, it is again filled. And 3p6, again there are three subatomic orbitals. That's 3px, sorry, this is 2p, not 3. This is what? This is 2px, 2py, 2pz. This is 3px, 3py, 3p. Z. There is only one electron in P orbital. Now, according to the uh, principle of electronic congregation, when there is a degenerate, uh, when there are degenerative atomic orbitals, so what will happen? Basically, this will general, uh, um, this will move. Uh, I mean that 3s and uh, the electron of 3s uh, uh, orbital will basically jump to 3py. Why this jump? Because they have same energy. They are degenerative in nature. Understand? So they can jump here. So what will happen? Now, if I uh, observe on this uh, atomic, uh, 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 sorry, uh, electronic congregation, what happens? There are uh, three uh, half-filled orbitals with the aluminum atoms. To complete its three uh, orbital with electrons, it generally required three more electrons for the comp uh, completion of its shells. So what will happen? Basically, the aluminum basically tries to form three bonds with the chlorine atom. What is the reason? Because here three weakened orbitals are available. Suppose this is the bond of one chlorine atom with aluminum, this is the bond of second chlorine atom with the aluminum and this is the bond of third chlorine atom with the aluminum atom. Now look at this one. The 3pz atomic orbitals are still weakened. There are no electrons in these orbitals. So this is basically the weakened orbital which aluminum, that is Lewis acid, possesses. That is this, uh, uh, I wrote here the block which basically represent the 3pz atomic orbital of the aluminum. Due to this reason, this basically uh, accept the lone pair of electrons. That's why this is known as Lewis acid. What was the definition of Lewis acid? As I told in the start, the compounds are the species which accept the lone pair of electron. Since this part accept one of the lone pair of electrons, if I write the above, suppose this one there isn't. Suppose, now aluminum accept these lone pair of electrons from chlorine atom. As it accept the electron from this chlorine atom, there will be a positive charge on the chlorine atom, which is highly unstable state for the chlorine atom. In terms, the chlorine positive will attract its electron from the carbon atom. Understand? Now what will, what will form? Basically, two types of uh, quantities will be formed, in which one is AlCl4 minus 1. Now, there is one minus charge because this chlorine atom basically attracts the electron or receives the electrons from this carbon atom. And plus, here will be our electrophile C double bond O positive. Now, there is a positive charge on the carbon atom, which is basically due to this chlorine atom. Now, this is a sile group, 
there is a positive charge all the uh, acyl group that's why it is known as acylium ion this is acylium ion which is basically our electropile this is a strong electropile so this is the step number one what about this step number two step number two which is very easy formation of benzenium ion ah one more uh, important question as i told why we uh, use anhydrous lewis acid in this type of the reaction as i told if i use a lewis acid which contains water molecule that is hydrous lewis acid so what will happen suppose i use, i am using a lewis acid which contains water this is what this is our water molecule we know there are two lone pair of electron on the oxygen atom what will happen so um, basically this aluminium will uh, try to uh, form a bond or receive the electron from this oxygen atom if the aluminium receives ox uh, electrons from the oxygen atom then how it will form our electropile since it will not more uh, no more form our electropile it will be useless for us therefore uh, we should not uh, or we are not allowed to use uh, hydrous lewis acid in this kind of the reaction that's why we are using hen hydrous lewis acid the uh, lewis acid without water molecule as i told the reason if we use a watered one then aluminum will will make its bond with the lone pair of oxygen so there will be no permission of this part then our reaction will be useless so this is the reason that i uh, told you why we are using uh, anhydrous lewis acid so step number two which is known as benzenium ion or this step is also known as sigma complex that is formation of sigma complex or formation of arenium ion i will explain the reason of all these understand what will happen very easy suppose this is the benzene molecule now as our electropile forms that is ch3 c double bond o positive what will happen this double bond of the benzene will attack on this carbon atom it will form a complex which is known as sigma complex this complex will form with us c double bond o ch3 here will be a positive charge number this will form now what is uh, this does want it is very simple understand so it is basically very uh, simple how it forms or how why it's called a sigma complex there is a very simple reason to explain this this was what this is a simple double bond of the benzene molecule now this double bond is converted here into single bond single bond is known as sigma bond that's why the pi bond is converted into sigma bond and plus here a complex structure is formed due to positive charge that's why it is known as sigma complex or this is also known as benzenium ion why it is also known as benzenium ion it's again a very simple uh, to explain the logic of this question since there is a positive charge on the benzene molecule that's why it's simply known as benzenium ion or this structure is also known as arenium ion again arene is the alternate name of the benzene molecule since there is again positive charge on the arene that's why it is known as arenium ion so this is basically formed in this uh, structure now this uh, structure is also uh, to uh, some extent stabilized because there is the uh, still a resonance is present in this uh, structure why there is a condition for the resonance if there is a double bond directly attached with single that is directly in turn attached with the positive charge just like the condition present in this uh, sigma complex what will happen nothing just there will be the conjugation for the uh, moment of the pi electron which is uh, resonance so this pi bond will shift itself to this portion it will form a structure which is resonating that is rs of this structure so what will be that structure this is hydrogen this is c double bond o ch 
3 now double bond will come here the positive charge will shift there again the situation is present because double single positive now this time this double bond will shift there it will form one more resonating structure that is hydrogen c double bond o c h three here is double bond this is the double bond now this time double bond uh, come there and positive will be on this carbon atom this is one more resonating structure of this sigma complex is there uh, any more conjugation present in this molecule there is no conjugation because there is double positive charge single bond but there is no directly double bond attached with the single bond because it was the condition used in the initial so there is no more resonance possible in this structure again this will convert to this one and this will convert to this one this will again convert to that one and the process will be continued until the hydrogen atom eliminate from this uh, uh, sigma complex understand that will be step number three step number three that is elimination elimination of proton in step number three the proton will be eliminated by the help of lewis acid understand how it will eliminate the proton it is very simple here is hydrogen this is c double bond o ch3 there is positive charge double double this was our sigma complex with this i am using alcl3 suppose this is alcl negative now what will happen basically this cl negative will attack on this proton and proton will give its electron to this carbon and this carbon will forward its electron to the carbon positive it will form our final product which is C double bond O C H three plus H C L. Understand? This is known as methyl phenyl ketone. Methyl phenyl ketone, or the most common name of this product is acetaphenone. Understand? Now, what is the advantage of step number three? That is elimination of a proton. Since this sigma complex is less stable as compared to benzene, why this is more stabilized this, uh, than this sigma complex? The reason is very simple because there is a complete conjugation for the resonance. In sigma complex, we basically destroy the, res uh, the process of resonance present in this molecule. So how uh, to uh, regenerate its uh, resonance? in this uh, molecule so basically this hydrogen will sacrifice itself for the benzene molecule so very simple the uh, hydrogen will eliminate itself from this so this one this is all about friedel craft isolation we will meet in next class inshallah allah peace